There is zero danger that you're going to stimulate gluconeogenesis in any meaningful pathological way. So it's our, just not going to happen. If, if our glucose goes up a little bit eating mostly carnivore, ketovore, that's okay. That's, that's normal. That's okay. the way it's supposed to be. Hey, I'm Rachel. And I'm Joe. And we are Two, two Crazy, Crazy Ketos. Ketos. And if you're new to our channel, welcome. Here on Two Crazy Ketos, we do different things like recipe videos and we do product reviews. We talk about various keto topics. And then every Monday, we sit down on the couch for Keto on the Couch. We just kind of talk about what's going on in our lives for the week. You can find us on different social media platforms like Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. And we have a website, which is twocrazyketos.com. And that's where you're going to find all of our different recipes. Now we do upload at least five new videos every single week, so make sure you subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to hit the little bell icon, and that way every single time we upload a new video, you'll be alerted to We've it. done this intro so many times today, I'm getting a little tongue-tied. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> when you say subscribe, sub blah, blah, blah. So Dr. Barry's right over there. We're gonna run over and grab him because we keep saying we're gonna grab him. He's gonna speak soon. And he's gotta speak, and so we wanna go talk to him a little bit about the proper human diet, about eating meat, about what happens if you eat too much meat. Is there such a thing? Is there such a thing? Because he says you can't eat too much meat. So we're gonna ask him why, and uh, we're really excited about this one. I found Dr. Barry. Woohoo! So I'm sure you know who he is, but just in case you don't know who this How? man is. How? Tell us a little about yourself. Ken Barry, family physician, been practicing for a couple of decades, taking good care of good people. And uh, now I, I travel the world. Really? Yeah. Uh, talking about the proper human diet and all the benefits it can have for you. So why did you start doing all this? Well, I, I, I wanted to be a real doctor. And I think a real doctor makes house calls. I think a real doctor does what patients need them to do. Okay. Well, I, I mean, I read your book, Lies My Doctor Told Me. Game changer. And if changer. you haven't, links down below. Because that book changed my life. I said that book to my mother. My mother was like, yes, 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 yes. Nice. Like, like no, I, I didn't get any nutrition, like information in medical school. Graduated in 1967. I mean, she's like, yeah, they don't teach you any of this yep. stuff. True, true. So, Sad but true. It's, so you're, you're out here changing people's lives, trying to help them benefit their health. Now you talk about the proper foods to eat. Because people are doing keto and they're eating lots of keto snacks and keto products and and there's some i've indulged in a couple sure. right yeah you know sometimes you just want to have a little milkshake or something like that sure. yeah but there's essential foods that we need yeah what are yeah. They? the majority of your food intake on a daily basis okay not counting birthdays and anniversaries you get to you get to be silly on your birthday and anniversary right? okay but on a daily basis you need to eat food that's nutrient dense that's ancestrally appropriate. Mm -hmm. And invariably, any meal that's part of a proper human diet is gonna contain meat. It's gonna contain eggs. It's gonna contain seafood. It's gonna con uh, contain poultry, red meat, ruminant animals. That, that is what human beings cut their teeth on mm -hmm. since our beginning on this planet. And for the, the common fad today to be that, well, we should eat a plant-based diet, it's, it's ridiculous. Mm -hmm. to just be blunt, it's foolish because okay. the, never in our history as a species have we eaten plant-based unless we're starving. Right. So let's be clear about this. There, there are two strategies to eating. If you're on the verge of starvation, you should eat plant-based. Uh -huh. You should eat that grass. Right. You should eat her shoe. Okay. If you're starving to death, you should eat whatever you can stuff in your face. Okay. But if what you're trying to do is optimize your health, mm -hmm. reverse chronic disease, right? improve your 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 stamina the flexibility of your joints if you're if that's your goal then you need to only put optimal proper human foods in your mouth and that's always going to be some cut of fatty meat from some animal or eggs okay and, and plus or minus some veg okay. some plants you can have some plants i'm not anti-plant but to say that the majority of our diet should be plant-based is is foolish so let's dispel a couple myths we promote eating a one-to-one -one fat to, or protein to energy diet. So protein, fat, maybe a little bit of 10, 20 total carbs. Yeah. You promote eating until you're comfortably full. Yeah. Certain foods, 
one or two times a day. It's the same thing. A ribeye is one to one. Yep. Okay. But number one, we keep having a big myth of if you eat too much protein, your body's going to turn it into sugar yeah. and you're going to get fat again eating steak. Yeah, totally false. There's no research to support that. And I think the guy Gluconeogenesis? Who, right. And so gluconeogenesis is happening all the time in your body. Every minute. It's Even happening. on fat. Even on fat. Yeah, okay. it's normal. There are certain cells in your body that cannot burn fat or mm -hmm. ketones or triglycerides or fatty acids. They have to have glucose. Uh, the red blood cells are a great example of this. They cannot burn ketones mm -hmm. or fatty acids. They have to have glucose. Your liver is happy to make that glucose. That's its, one of its many, many jobs. And so it does that continuously. Now, so that's why I did a 72 hour fast yep. with a CGM. Mm -hmm. And I woke up at three o'clock in the morning and according to the CGM, my glucose elevated 30 points. Mm -hmm. Yep. Yeah, if you work out, if you fast, your, your blood sugar is gonna go up because your red blood cells and maybe a few other cells in your body need the glucose. It's perfectly normal, it's perfectly natural. I sound like the dad from American Pie. It's a normal, natural thing. Okay? It's not anything to be afraid of. You don't know what's going to come out of his mouth. If you are eating a low-carbohydrate diet, mm -hmm. there is zero danger that you're going to stimulate gluconeogenesis in any meaningful, pathological way. So it's our, just not going to happen. If, if our glucose goes up a little bit eating mostly carnivore, ketovore, that's okay. That's, that's normal. That's okay. the way it's supposed to be. Okay. So last question, there's a fad going around protein sparing modified fast. Yep. We want to go another way Yep. and you have a thousand dollar challenge. Yeah. So what is the thousand dollar challenge? Yeah. I, I challenge anybody uh, for 90 days. If you, you can eat as much beef, b bacon, butter, and eggs as you want. Okay. Just those four things. Beef, butter, bacon, and eggs. You can have, you can eat six times a day. You can eat as many pounds of each as you want. Uh, but I'll, I'll give anybody a, a thousand bucks if they can gain 10 pounds of fat in 90 days. Because they may gain muscle. Yeah, you're going to gain some bone density, which shows up on the scale because that's what bones are built of is protein. You're going to gain some muscle. You're going to gain some fascia, some uh, cartilage, some tendon strength. All that stuff's going to get better. That's going to show up on the scale. But if you can gain 10 pounds of fat as verified by a DEXA scan, okay. then I'll, I'll give you a thousand bucks. Because well, I've yet to see anybody be able to do it. We're not going to take you up on the $1,000 challenge, but we, because people keep saying, like, you can't eat all this, what we're going to do is next month, we're going to do 30 days of beef, butter, bacon, and eggs. Yes. And we're going to measure ourselves, and we're going to yep. see what's going to go on, and we're going to show people that you can eat beef, butter, bacon, and eggs. As much as you want. As much as you want. You yep. don't have to do protein-sparing modified fast, which we just got to talking to Marie Emmerich. If you're doing that five days a week, you're not doing it properly. And stop it, please. Please don't do that five days a week. So we're going to eat beef, butter, bacon, and eggs as much as we want for 30 days. And we're going to let it. you know yep. what happens. I love it. I okay. can't wait to see the results because I think you'll be pleased. I, I, I'm excited about that. Yeah, so. me too. As this is Dr. Barry. Make sure you're following him. You're not really on Facebook anymore, right? We, yeah, we're, we're still, still there. Doing we're Facebook? still there. We do a live YouTube? every Monday night okay. on Facebook and YouTube. Join uh, his Patreon. Yeah, Incredible please. Incredible stuff. You get advanced video. You get to be part of his Patreon live streams, right? So yep, three weeks. And, and you're supporting somebody who is really out here making a difference in the community. And if you really want to do yourself a favor, follow Nisha Loves It well, on you're Instagram. You're going to go talk to her next. Follow she Nisha. is incredible. So. Yeah. 100%. If you like seeing videos like this, check out some of the other videos from the conference down here. If you want to see our most recent video, go over there. But make sure you're subscribing to our channel right here. And also hit the bell button so that you're notified every time we upload a new video. Because sometimes we talk to Dr. Barry. <laughs> Eat your meat. <laughs>